Hello and welcome to this week's project featuring the Apple IIc. Uh, this week uh, we are uh, showing off our standard Apple IIc with its monitor and mouse and here we have it running basic just to prove that it is. We will input a quick uh, basic program showing off my amazing basic programming skills and running it. Very good. Standard Apple Off Basic is for 2C. Oops, the car cat. And there we are showing a directory listing. That seem a little fast though, doesn't it, for an Apple 2C? Well, looks can be deceiving. Let's see what we have here. Well look, that appears to be an Apple 2GS. So that is the Apple 2GS desktop. Sure enough, we have uh, like Apple Works GS. There it is. Our standard hello world again. A little, a little bigger. You can see it. Let's make it uh, bold. There we go. So there we have uh, Apple Works GS running on our Apple IIc, of all things. Back to the desktop. And uh, well, interesting. Well, I'll shut this down. But again, things may not be exactly as they seem. Indeed not. We appear to be running something else entirely. That's not the Apple IIgs. That's the Raspberry Pi. Indeed we are running the GS port Apple IIgs emulator on Raspberry Pi. What was all this about? What we have is our Apple IIc working as the console input to Raspberry Pi. And the way that works is in the back here, hidden behind the mass of wires, is Raspberry Pi connected to a third-party serial port adapter then connected to the Apple IIc. And I've written some code to bundle up the Apple IIc keyboard and mouse events send it over the, ra the uh, serial port to the Raspberry Pi where I've also written an input daemon that takes the data from the serial port and injects the events into the Linux event subsystem thus creating um, a keyboard and mouse console uh, from our Apple IIc. So the next stage of this project is actually to create an Apple IIe expansion card that will accept the Raspberry Pi to be plugged into it then uh, connect to a serial chip on the expansion card also drawing its power from the expansion card plugging that into the Apple IIe and then having our Raspberry Pi basically be our Apple IIe upgrade all for uh, the cheap price that these things are available for so uh, stay tuned to uh, uh, the future installments of this project when I should have some clever Apple IIe hardware to go along with uh, the software. Thanks for watching.